How is it going guys? I'm trying out the awesome capabilities of my new operating system Linux Mint 14 and uh, I want to say that I am very disappointed in Windows and Microsoft overall um, new laptop I just bought was preloaded with Windows 8 of course and uh, you know thinking Everything is going to be working fine if I change the antivirus to one I had on Windows 7. I uh, took off the one that was preloaded on there, which had 60 days uh, trial version, and uh, loaded the Symantec endpoint protection and restarted to make it work. And what do you know? Blue screen of death. And uh, I thought it would be like any other version of Windows where you could just go into safe mode and recover it but it wouldn't even let me do that it would go straight to automatic repair wouldn't even try to give me an option to manually do anything um, so go figure I went to BIOS and had to mess around with some settings and Windows 8 has a feature called secure boot which doesn't let you boot to any other operating system so I had to uh, disable it and change it so I could boot to other operating systems and I just installed uh, with, uh, Linux Mint 14 which I downloaded it's a free distribution uh, everything for Linux is free it's you could download it free all apps every program is free so you can customize it to look any way you want um, as you see I have many icons here you could switch desktop views like so workplaces it's a lot faster than Windows um, it doesn't crash as often <laughs> you could download lots tons of applications and if you have anything that runs on Windows there's a program called wine it's a compatibility layer which allows you to run Windows programs and uh, sometimes there are times where you might need it like in my case I wasn't able to uh, configure the wireless drivers because uh, the operating system the computer laptop came with a new wireless card which doesn't have Linux drivers yet so I had to use um, use the Windows drivers on it with a program called Endis Wrapper um, there's many features like my weather right, right here it displays was the temperature and weather in my area um, have a little uh, camera view right here could get online uh, with Firefox really fast as you see um, I modified the, the icons to make it look like windows um, you know un untrained person might think it's it's actually windows or or a mag because there's a little duck panel on the bottom right here so there's unlimited possibilities with it pretty much and of course it's free so you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on uh, software that sometimes doesn't work like recently I just got an office upgrade from my Windows 7 and uh, what do you know I tried to print multiple pages in my Word document and it prints only one so here we have uh, an application called Office Libre, uh, just as good as MS Office or better. Um, let's see, here's an example Libre Office, actually, not Office Libre. Um, Pythos, it's pretty much Pandora uh, and it's right there on your desktop, so it's mobile a lot better than just logging in through um, the website faster just click on it logs in for you and uh, goes to the station that you have pre-chosen or you could change the station by clicking here it's uh, taking a while this time my wireless is low signal but that's the idea here um, some commands are better installed through the terminal right there uh, so some learning curve is required but you also have the option of using the GUI uh, graphical user interface 
if you don't like that, you could just go to the um, your administration and software manager. Let me show you an example here. Oh, log in. And that lets you pick applications to download. And right now we have 6,000 or 63,233 packages right now. But uh, it's possible to update the repositories and install different things. Or you could go through a terminal, which is faster. And uh, more advanced user pre users prefer that method. Um, doesn't crash like this application does sometimes. Here's an example of right, scanning software. Alright, uh, what else? Uh, you could modify the icons and the, the appearance like I said. There's like plenty of support and if you have any questions it, there's plenty of support on YouTube and through the Linux community um, what else you have uh, many programs to I mean this comes preloaded with all the codecs so you don't have to worry about is uh, things not working out of the box um, if you are into web building like ma making web pages and don't want to spend three hundred dollars on Dreamweaver is a bluefish editor which is same thing but it's free <laughs> Skype might not look as fancy as Windows version but it's um, does the job just the same just log in and uh, that's that's pretty much you know the basics. You have Bluetooth, wireless, volume, battery life. I mean, it's everything is on here, um, and then some. All right, thanks thanks for watching, and uh, come again.